Hi to all. Network analysis uh, July 2024 question paper regular exam for first year B.Tech students. Network analysis question paper exam pravata eight and eight questions which what are the questions came. Let us see two mass questions and ten mass questions for uh, B.Tech uh, EC students network analysis subject. Question paper mundu chepinu vidangane three pages undi. Circuits on Tiger Bati, maximum diagrams a cover out on Tiger Bati paper on the three pages to see Chalaman the Funk Ipotter by fear start IP Chalaman the undergo much both on true. But uh, you can see the question paper very simply they ask two mass questions and ten mass questions they ask very simply. If you know the method of doing the problem solution. For that, you will get easily marks. If you attempt, uh, suppose RLC circuit is there. If you know one formula, two or three formulas, Z equal to R plus J X L minus X C, I equal to V by Z, and rectangular to polar, polar to rectangular conversions, then you can easily solve RLC AC circuit. You can see the question paper. If you see the question paper, you can observe. Previously, what we told theorems we then also then we denote Atkins law, Kitsch of current law, Kitsch of voltage law, different time constant. Two mass questions very simply they ask you that you can see the question paper. We will see that uh, review of this question paper how to get uh, how you will get marks. So suppose uh, if you attempt if the problem method of solution is correct uh, then you will get maximum marks. This is the question paper regarding network analysis R20 regulation July 2024 network analysis. It consists of two parts in part A, two mass questions are there, 10 questions are for that you have to get 20 marks. State and explain Kitschok laws. From basic electrical engineering onwards, you are listening these laws. Kitschok laws, how many? Two types. One is Kitschok current law, Kitschok voltage law. Kitsch of current law states that the algebraic sum of currents meeting at a junction or node is equal to zero, that is sigma i equal to zero. This formula you have to write. You can draw one diagram also. Kitsch of voltage law, for that Kitsch of voltage law, you have to draw the algebraic sum of total voltage drops is equal to zero, that is Kitsch of voltage law. I told you the theorem, any one theorem will come for two marks. Superposition, Thevenin's not runs, maximum power. These four are important. Norton's theorem states that any linear circuit can be converted into a simple circuit that is IN is in parallel with RN. IN is the Norton's current source and RN is the Norton's resistance. First we have to calculate IN, RN and this combination is connected in parallel with RL. This circuit we have to draw. Statement along with circuit. Define time constant. What are the time constants of RL and RC circuit? The time constant is the process of taking the time to reach 59.9% of its maximum time. Next C D is explain about natural and force response of RL circuit. State and explain the relation between next one state the relation between voltage and current in a series RL circuit. Series RL circuit, what is the formula for voltage and current? V equal to IZ, Z equal to R plus JXL, the formula we have to write. Draw the power triangle in series connected RLC circuits. The power triangle in RLC circuit. The power triangle we have to draw. How to draw the power triangle? If you draw the power triangle, apparent power, active power and reactive power. 3.3 3 right angle triangle, power triangle is. Next, draw the Define self-inductance and series resonance. Self-inductance means due to the flow of current in the same coil, what is the inductance it is produces? That is self-inductance series resonance formula. The frequency at which the resonance occur, that is resonance frequency. The series resonance RL and RLC circuit, if you connect in series, then what is the formula? You have to write that. Define quality factor. Quality factor, this is the most important definition for two marks omega l by r the formula is the quality factor defined as like that you have to write express z parameters in terms of a b c d 
a small derivation you have to do in terms of ABCD or you can write the formulas regarding ABCD parameters in terms of Z parameters. Coming to J, 10th question, a two-port network connected in cascade, the combination is to be represented as single two-port network. How are the parameters are obtained? By multiplying the two cascade networks, we will get the combined parameters. Coming to part B, 10 marks questions. This one, unit one is network elements and theorems. From the mesh analysis, nodal analysis, compulsory they will give problem. We solve so many. Here, dependent current source. Dependent, current dependent current source is there. For that, we have to explain, find the current I naught in the circuit shown below. Next is, Find the value of VA for the circuit using KVL. For this first chapter, the theorems are circuits. Nodal and mesh analysis compulsory, the, you will get one circuit. Similarly, you got uh, the circuit. The value of VA for the network shown below. VA by applying KVL for this loop. Three loops are there. Three equations you will get. We have to find current across 5 ohm. Current in 5 ohm resistance and I into R gives VA. Or by using nodal analysis, how many nodes are there? Coming to another question, in determine current through 1 ohm resistor by using Thevenin's theorem. It is for 5 marks. It is very simple circuit given. First we have to remove the 1 ohm resistor. Remove the 1 ohm resistor. After that we have to find VTH and RTH. After that we have to connect equivalent circuit how to solve Thevenin's theorem for that these 2 and 4 ohm resistors are connected in series 2 and 3 ohm resistors are connected in series then you can draw an equivalent circuit like that 2 and 4 is 6 ohm here it is open circuit this 1 ohm resistor is called as load resistor we have to remove if you solve it you will get easily 10 marks it is for 5 marks, it is for KVL. The method if you apply also, you will get 10 marks. Coming to another page. As I told you, it consists of 2 or more pages. Coming to second chapter, compare between series and parallel resonance circuits. Comparison. You can draw the circuits, you can draw the derive the frequency. Series resonance occur at high frequency, whereas parallel resonance occurs at low frequency. Next, another very simple question they will given. A resistor 50 ohm and 100 ohm, 100 milli henrys are connected to a capacitor. 100 microfarad are connected in series. Draw the circuit, RLC circuit and solve this. RLC is connected to to 200 volts it will very simply you will get six out of six marks for this find the impedance capacitor also there find the impedance z equal to r plus jxl minus xc z equal to r plus jxl minus xc by using that you can find the impedance after that current is i equal to v by z you have to apply current i equal to v by z current flowing through the circuit power factor is Z what is power factor is cos phi equal to R by Z you can use the formula or the Z angle is the power phase angle for this cos you have to apply power is V into I into cos phi if you real power if you want this is the question regarding next another one transients in second chapter fifth question is very simple these two problems only we solved you can check the unit 2 nodes, transients, R and L connected, switch. Next one, coming to unit 4, unit 3, describe in detail about star and delta conversion. Three impedances are connected in delta and star, then how to change this? Three impedances, because it's a AC circuit, impedance Z1 and Z2, Z3 are connected in star how to convert similarly delta how to convert 
find the input impedance input impedance we have to find this two are in series it is z1 plus 8 plus j2 entry 0 0.2 entry this combination is parallel with this z1 z2 z3 if you connect you can find z input impedance you can easily pause you can easily score out of 70 you can easily score 65 for this question paper coming to again series or else circuit is given find the resonance frequency and q factor by using formulas you can solve it series or else circuit as r equal to l equal to like that calculate the value of c quality factor all this here also you will get easily 10 marks if you know the formulas of quality factor and resonance frequency quality factor and resonance frequency coming to next one this is the coming to this chapter unit 4 derive the equivalent inductance between two inductors are connected in series aiding we have to draw series aiding two inductors are connected in series aiding the current is flowing in same direction find the mutual inductance and coefficient the coupling between that similarly another problem is coming a choke coil RL is connected in series with 25 microfarad capacitor this combination is connected across supply voltage 230 the circuit draws 55 amps then the resonance frequency at the resonance frequency the circuit draws a current Z equal to R only calculate the resistance inductance of the coil Z equal to R at resonance Coming to another question, two port networks, it is unit 5, explain the relationship, relationship is very important between Z and Y parameters, if you saw, if you derive the relationship, 5 marks you will get easily, find H parameters for the network, by using H parameters, you can apply KVL for this loop, and this loop, and this loop, then you will get H parameters easily, 10 out of 10 you will get here. Coming to another question which came from unit 5. A typical two port network is characterized by one equation is given, two equations determine this. If you know the relation between Z and Y H parameters ABCD, you will get 10 out of 10 marks. If you solve it, explain the conditions to be fulfilled for cascade connection of two port networks. What are the conditions? The two port networks conditions will be. This is the regarding network analysis question paper. By seeing this, three pages are there, but those who practice very well, they written very good. It is very easy to pause in this network analysis by seeing two, two mass questions, at least 15 marks you will get easily. From part B, if you attempt if you follow the method then you will get 50% of the marks also if you write 5 questions 5 into 5 25 35 marks you can get easily if you attempt all the questions those who attended classes regularly those who practiced very well then you can easily get 35 marks but 60 out of 6 70 60 out of 70 you will get easily by saying this question paper this is a review about question paper.